Oto dzisiaj Polska wraca do europejskiej rodziny. Polki, Polacy, Europejczycy, witajcie we wspólnej Europie. The 4th May of 2004. I was like celebrating like 20 meters from here. And yeah, it was a good day. Me and my friends we were driving uh, across Warsaw, waving the you know European Union flag from from the window, and because uh, we knew, being young people, that this is an enormous change. I mean, for the first time in the history, we officially became a part of the Western world. My name is Marta Miłoszewska. I'm a uh, theater director and a dean of the uh, directing department at the National Academy of Drama, uh, Dramatic Art in Warsaw. My name is Dmitry Miłoszewski. We are, we are married. And I'm a writer and activist, a secretary of a literary union, which is an association of, of writers. Description in Polish language it's called Homo Sovieticus and it describes the mentality of people that were raised in the communist country. Yeah, but and but we, lost, we lost this mentality. Oh, not we did. Everyone not and not to the level that we may forget about it. I no, believe. but still, I mean, I would, I would disagree. So, I mean, things changed, I mean, in the 19, 1990s. And, and we were, you know, balancing. And we fell on the right side. Yeah, the Polish president, the Polish premier, pr prime ministers do not live in the golden palaces <laughs> like the, previously in the Ukraine. They live in like regular uh, yeah. flats in blocks or in small houses. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, that's uh, the uh, difference. Uh, uh, I mean, there are rich people and you know, and crazily rich people in Poland. Okay. They are just rich. They have no influence, you know, on politics, on how the things are done. They're just rich people, like, like everywhere. Yeah, the theatre was always a space of freedom in Poland and many important things happened in, the, in, po in Poland in the theatre and also as, uh, in literature. For example, the biggest uh, riots in 1968 in Poland started in the National Theatre because of the theatre play, which is very interesting. So the theatre was always influential in Poland and people found their ways to express uh, their ideas and the communists were quite smart. The communists made an art, this kind of a ventil uh, to uh, this security uh, valve, security valve you know, to release the pressure. And the art used to be this safer space to express. There was a censorship, but it also was some kind of a play, a game. When we hear the stories uh, of Ukrainian women and men, for example, about murders, about violence, about rapes, it's something that we knew here in Poland 70 years ago because the whole generation of our grandparents and our grandmothers had like PTSD after the Second World War, and they experienced exactly the same. So considering we, they were happy enough to survive. Yeah. So. We know that it's not a propaganda pro or anti-Ukrainian. It's like these are the facts and this is the way Russia is leading their wars. The support for the Ukrainians during the, time, uh, the times of war, I believe it's real. And it's really on the governmental level and it's also yeah. in the society because we've got this very strong about because of our location, geographical location on the map and history. We strongly feel, not only believe, but we feel that Ukrainians are fighting not all, only for themselves, but they are fighting also uh, for, for us, because we are the next. And being a part of uh, EU, and there are more things are possible, you know, the cooperation between EU countries. We profit from it as much as, as we can, even though if there is one common denominator yeah. uh, of Polish politics, no matter what they call or right wing, you know, center left wing. So this uh, common denominator is hatred 
uh, against Russia. So there is no openly pro-Russian, you know, party or uh, movement in, in Poland. Well, in Poland there was no such time in the history, actually, that Poles were able to enjoy. Actually, I believe that since 1999 is the first time in our history that we are allowed a little bit to enjoy just the simple living. Both, I mean, not only Ukraine, obviously, but, uh, but you in Georgia, we in Poland. I mean, in Moscow, we are still considered great Russian territory. Mm -hmm. uh, so all the means that can allow us to escape it, you know, are, are good. I mean, uh, we here, we all feel that we were saved by being a member of uh, North, Atlant uh, North Atlantic Alliance, being a member of, uh, of European Union. I mean, for the first time in our history, uh, we are safe from uh, Russian imperialism. And this is, and oh my God, it feels so good. <laughs>